Welcome back, everybody. We're back together here with another video. And we're going to be talking about the Marvels because this box office is horrific. A movie that costs $300 million. And if you do the math, this movie is going to need something probably like $900 million to break even. Look at this box office so far. It's only made $188.5 uh, million worldwide. Only 78 million domestically. This movie's in a ton of trouble. And it came out uh, roughly like three weeks ago. The box office for the past week has been atrocious. They're only hitting at like $340,000 a day now. That is a disaster. But however, don't fear. You know what Bob Iger said about this movie? The reason why I bombed? COVID. <laughs> yes, the Wuhan virus is the reason why this movie is bombing. This is utterly insane. Do you know his exact words on this? No. His exact words down here. He was actually speaking um, with the New York Times on this. He actually said this. Quote, the Marvels were shot during COVID. There wasn't as much supervision on the set, so to speak, where we have where we have executives that are really looking over what's being done day after day after day. What? Really? I mean, they said that this movie started shooting in um, July of 2021. Okay. Mm hmm. But however, I was about to bring this up. <laughs> Look here. They says there are plenty of examples of movies that film closer to the pandemic that have succeeded at the box office, including Sony's Spider-Man No Way Home. Disney Disney uh, Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever. How about this? Avatar Way of Water. Something like two point three billion dollars came out. Uh, when, when did it come out? Like, uh, like a year ago. Mm -hmm. We were still in this quote unquote pandemic phase. A lot of people went and saw that movie. W what do you make of this idiotic statement here by Bob Iger? I think he's just making an excuse. I mean, instead of blaming the, you know, the political agenda. Yeah. He just like blaming it on COVID or like being sexist or something. Just the other day, he, he was talking about there was too much messaging. Yeah. Now he's saying COVID. Yeah. And then another article on Bangsang in the comment could say like the like the movie has like featured too many work content and creator has lost sight of um, their objective. Yeah. But then I, I don't understand why he come out and blame like COVID is the reason that the movie bomb. Probably because this, this particular movie here is going to be the biggest flop out of all of them. I mean, they're going to get nowhere close to nine hundred million dollars. This movie may top out at, at about two thirty. If they top out at two thirty, boy. They are in for a historic flop right there. So he's trying to do, it seems like, some damage control. But they've had a whole bunch of movies that flop. Indiana Jones was um was shot during COVID as well. I believe Thor, uh, mm -hmm. Love and Thunder, same thing. Th this makes absolutely no sense. They're just putting out garbage. No other way to put it. Yeah. Barbie, people went out to see Barbie. People saw um, Oppenheimer. I really like that movie, too, by the way. Mm -hmm. But in this case right here. This is the most idiotic excuse. Stop blaming COVID. I mean, you got to come up with better excuses. Now, I already told you, man, Brie Larson is no box office draw. No, but it's also the storyline, you know. Yeah. The story, the agenda. I mean, the only thing that they're really doing over there in um, 
at Disney is really just pushing agendas out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, What else did he say here? Uh, Iger vaguely addressed the box office flops that have piled up on his watch. They include the Lady Indiana Jones, Thor, and Ant-Man sequels. Quote, I don't want to apologize for making sequels, he reportedly said. Some of them have done extraordinarily well, and they've been good films, too. I think there has to be a reason to make them. You have to have a good story. And often the story doesn't hold up. Um, hold up to is not as strong as the original story. That can be a problem. Well, from what from what I actually understand about this um, Marvel's movie, her story sucks. Her the villain is bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, Bob Iger, you're 72 years old, man. Maybe just maybe he didn't take his meds. <laughs> maybe he didn't take his meds when um he actually said this. Maybe they just caught him off guard. and He was like, oh, God, I got to come up with something. Hey, COVID, COVID. Nah, nah, I'm not buying it. No. Do you think people from the country will buy it? No, nobody's going to buy this excuse. Nobody. I mean, when I went to see Spider-Man um, No Way Home, mm-hmm. I really couldn't get that good of a seat because the theater was so packed. People showed up to that Spider-Man movie because of Spider-Man. The Marvels? No. Nah. You just didn't make a good movie. You made a movie that nobody cared about. Well, don't you think like movies now today, like when it's like a woman's, you know, the main character is the woman protagonist and they just make the woman just uh, suddenly know everything, you know, without any struggle or go through, well, you that's, know. Well, that's the Disney playbook right there. Yeah, the journey, you know, hardship and stuff and learn, you know, a lesson, you know. And then when you, when there's a guy who is the main character, like, you know, the upcoming movie, um, Blay, that's coming out. If the it th- comes out. <laughs> yeah, the three women take over for Blade. The Blade and that, that's, that was dumb, right? That that's makes no not sense. right. I mean, I know. I mean, there can be three women, but like they should be like just a supporting character. Yeah. Instead of taking over the character, the main character, you know. Yeah. Right. right. So. Yeah. This is idiotic here from Bob Iger to come out and say this. It makes no sense. But I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. This was dumb right here. Dumb. Man. Hope you guys enjoy the weekend. I really do. (laughs) I think that's going to wrap it up, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we will talk to you guys on Monday. Tomorrow's the weekend. So be safe over the weekend, and we'll talk to you on Monday. Goodbye.